All right, so hi guys, it's time for a long awaited art topic video. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. And uh, first of all, this video is sponsored by me. Hi, how's it going? But uh, to get serious really quick, uh, if you guys have not noticed or kept up with the news lately, there has been an extreme uh, rise in Asian American hate since the pandemic has started. And with what's happened in the news recently, I felt like I really want to do more for my part. So I am currently offering pre-orders for stickers on my store where half of the proceeds are going to go to uh, AAPI hate uh, prevention organizations. The reason why it's going to be half instead of full is because I still have to pay. I currently don't own a sticker ma uh, machine or a printer, so I have to get them offset and it's going to pay for the shipping supplies as well as the taxes that myself as an artist will to pay for. But if you don't want to do, uh, if you don't want to do the donation stickers through me, that's fair. I will have donations in the link in the links down below and I will have those links above my own social media links. Again, want to use my platform to help a little bit more and to do more with the voice that I have been given. So with that being said, let's get into the topic of today's video. So today we are going to be talking about uh, your art career and like when it's time to make changes because I'm currently in uh, a stage of this myself. And so with that being said, I have always been very honest with my art journey on this channel and, and to you guys, but there seems to be like a misconception in some cases. And so I want to explain it again because I like being as transparent as I legally can be. And with that being said, let's get into it. So an art journey is different for every single person. It's, it's very different depending on where you are in life, what your status is, uh, what your skill level is, how long you've been doing it, yada, yada, yada. The world's a very different place now from when I was in high school. Um, like when I made my um, ageism in the art community video, which I will be doing like a follow up to that video because I felt like I didn't word myself as properly as I originally thought because of the criticism I got on it. Criticism is not bad. It's a good thing to take criticism when it's properly uh, critiqued and to learn from it and grow from it, which is why I'm planning a video for that in the future. But in that video, I talked about how there are so many more resources now than there were when I was younger to where people can make better, smarter choices at younger ages or at, you know, earlier stages in their art career. So when I started, I was doing artwork since I was in uh, high school, middle school. I was doing commissions since then as well. But I was nowhere near making enough money or consistently enough for it to be a job. It was back when I was young, didn't really need money. And it very much just paid for a couple things here and there and made me feel, you know, kind of happy and neat about it. But as time went on, you know, I, I got a job, I, I went to school, things like that. And I kept doing commissions in my art, you know, in the meantime for some pocket cash for things here and there. And it got to a point where I remember that uh, I was working, um, I had just decided to drop out of college and I ended up, uh, you know, realizing, wait a minute, I'm making the same amount of money with my commissions as I am my part-time job, minus, you know, gas and food. So I asked my parents at the time, because I also wasn't paying rent. I was a young adult and I was lucky enough to live in my parents' house. So again, I didn't have as many bills. And I was like, hey, can I do this? And I talked to my partner as well, who is now my husband. And all of them were like, I mean, as long as you can afford your bills, we don't really care. And I was like, okay. So I did it. And I took that jump and I've been self-employed ever since. I've taken odd jobs here and there. I've always talked about that. There's no shame in that or having to pick up side work. Uh, again, <laughs> I have always been a firm believer in you need to survive. You know, you need to like, Making art your career is a very, very big jump for a lot of people. And it's also why I personally believe that everybody should do retail at some point in their life. Not because it's great, but because it will help people have an understanding of what it's like to work retail. And I also, I do wholeheartedly believe that if everybody did it at some point in their life for like a minimum of six months to a year, we wouldn't have as many Karens out in the world as we do now. It's just a personal belief there. But I also feel like we would have more people respect other grinds because while we do have a lot more people respecting, you know, our businesses and things like that now, there are still a lot of people who don't. 
and there will be people who don't. And that's something you're going to have to accept. You're going to have to accept that people are going to belittle you for the first chunk of it. You're going to have to accept that people are going to think it's dumb. You're going to have to accept that some people think you're so lucky that you don't get to work that hard when we work. Often cases, more hours for less money than we did at retail, but we are happier for it. You know what I mean? And so you get to a point where you start noticing things and then as things pick up, which they will eventually, you know, because life's a very, very weird mistress, you will start to see signs when you need to make changes in your business, you know? So, um, again, myself for an example here. I was a mostly commission-based artist. I made almost all of my income off of commissions for the first three, four years of me doing this full time. And I started dipping my toe into other things. I started doing Twitch, started doing YouTube, you know, I started doing this and that. And as my skill level went on and, and as my, um, you know, my, uh, what was that skill level? How do I, how do I put it? My, um, I'll just say my mental library because I can't, I, this is why I don't script videos and I really should have written some paper ASMR notes down, but I didn't want to. I thought I could do it at the seat of my pants. Mm, that's what we get here. But you will notice things starting to change. Uh, as I've gotten older and some things have happened in my life more recently, I've not had to take commissions as much as I used to. I've been putting my money into other things. You know, I have money in my Patreon where you can save money, you know, with time because my artwork now is taking a lot longer than it used to, but I'm much more proud of the work I am producing. This is something else you need to worry about and think about too. You know, if you can pump, 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 pump artwork out like I used to be able to, that's great. But eventually you're going to have a lot more burnouts. You're going to have a lot more of this and that. And you're not going to grow the way you wanted to. I experienced this. There was a long period of time where I'm like, man, I really wish I could work on such and such thing. But I can't really afford to take the time to study those practices. I have to do what makes me money, you know, and that's what a lot of people have to do. But as you start dipping your toe into other things and seeing things grow, you start to notice things. Uh, I'll go back to the Patreon like I brought them a minute ago. With my Patreon, I have my top tiers being commissioned tiers that are locked out so I don't get overwhelmed and I can get done every month. But my lower tiers, I have a print pack where it will be once a month when I eventually get a printer, but right now it's uh, once a quarter, just so it's easier for me to get them offset printed and mail them off to people. It counts for internationally. And then for the $5 tier, I have a sticker club. So if you want to be a $5 patron, you can get a sticker mailed out to you every month. And so same thing. I currently have to get those offset printed, but those are ways now that I can produce more artwork and be saving my time. Because supply and demand are a very, very big thing. And it's not that commissions are bad. They are a great source of income. But it's that you get to a point where, oh no, if something happens, all of a sudden you're kind of screwed. And there are points where, you know, you are like where I was, where you're backlogged for a long time and you're constantly working and you're not making that much more money. And with a business, and it's it's not a money grubbing hang thing to want to, you know, exist and support yourself because I see that a lot too where there are other people who try to argue well you should be doing it because it's fun you should be doing it to make people happy you should you, you're right you should but at the same time I mean you know people got to eat and you wouldn't work a job if you weren't getting paid right right you wouldn't be providing a service if you weren't getting some sort of kickback back that's just a part of human nature you know and if you're noticing your skill level improving, your time taking longer, time is a very important asset that a lot of people, myself included, have a hard time managing. It's it's something that takes a lot of practice and self-restraint, but it's also where you need to see, okay, I am reaching more people now with this and I'm saving time so I can focus on other things. I can focus on my art getting better. I can focus on things getting out of my comfort zone. I might even been able to focus on projects that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I kept pushing back because I'm like, well, I want to give back. I want to do this. I want to do that. And you have to start making smarter choices with your career. And usually, usually the universe will give you signs. I know this sounds like weird, um, especially with my spiritual beliefs, but the universe is always trying to tell you something. It's a lot like the, the you know, that people saying like, 
you will know what's wrong with your body if you actually listen to it. And a lot of people take that as like, oh, well, if I listen to my body, all I'm going to want to do is eat junk food and sleep all day. And it's like, well, no, you, you need to really, really look, you know, uh, you got, need to look past the surface level on the interior level, because that's where you're going to find the signs. You know, I have been streaming more. I've been loving it more. I've been getting more work done. I've been doing more with YouTube. I'm finding a lot of enjoyment there. You know, I'm doing other things that are creative outlets that I'm putting my time and effort into and they are showing and I'm starting to see growth with that. And that's when it's one of those things where you just sit back and you're like, hmm, maybe it is time for a change. That being said with myself, does that mean that I'm never doing commissions ever again? No, 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 no. Don't get that wrong. But again, I'm noticing my time's taking longer. It's taking longer to get people back their rewards, which isn't fair. And I need to think of the best way to run my new business. And this is something that you need to think about when you are working on something like this, you know? Oh yeah, it's, uh, oh yeah, well, I don't have that big of a following, so I can offer, you know, to sell commissions for really, really cheap prices. That's what you've always said. And in, in a way you're right, but you don't want to work yourself to the bone to where you're working so hard just to barely get by that by the time you're done, you're burnt out and you can't do anything. You need to find that middle ground and you need to listen to what the universe is telling you, you know? Uh, again, one of those things is like, oh, I've always wanted to dip my toe into, you know, mailing and things like that. No, no, no. Okay, get supplies over time. See how it works out. See if it's a good enough investment for you. Because there are the people who jump the gun and they see stuff on TikTok. They see stuff on YouTube and they don't see the time and effort put into it. They just see, oh my God, uh, this person makes... $5,000 a month. I'm throwing a random number out there. I, I don't, I, I know there are some people who exist like that, but I know it's not everybody on just making stickers. Isn't that great? And then it's like, oh yeah, but they're not putting into account, uh, you know, the thousand dollars for the computer and tablet, you know, combination, uh, the, you know, estimated thousand dollars for a good printer, good paper, you know, the sticker cutter, shipping supplies, and then the time and energy to make said stickers, to mail them out, to get other things printed, because there are other things that go into a business where you need business cards, you need thank you letters. That's also that's also ink, money, and supplies that you're not getting back. Stamp and postage. Uh, you need to worry about uh, sales tax information. You need to worry about, um, you know, when you're shipping overseas, how you're going to deal with that, because it's not... It's not as easy as buying an international stamp at the store and slapping it on there. There's a lot of work that goes into it on your end, you know? And then you see people do this and they invest so much in it. And then it ended up being like, wow, I made $50 in a month off of all this stuff, off of a sticker thing. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of how it starts. That's why most people do it when they're doing it in their free time in between things with collecting things. And then when they start to notice, it's like how I was years ago, where it's like, wait a minute. I'm making the exact same amount of money doing X as I am doing Y. So why don't I just go do X? And then I see where it goes from there. And that's what you need to do if you want to have this be a business and you need to change things. But you need to start looking towards things, you know? If your health is going drastically, if this is happening, if you're not blah, 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 blah. Those are signs you need to stop and really reflect on what you're doing and changes that could be made because there are also other options out there, you know? You don't have to take freelance commissions like I did for the longest time. You could do Twitch emotes. You could do yachas. You could do adoptables. There are many other ways you can make money still creating art and that are not as mentally taxing when you notice that that stage in your life is either coming to a close or it's, you know, the window's being closed. The door is not closed, but the window's being closed. So that way you can really enjoy the atmosphere that you've grown. And so that's all I have to say about that. I hope I made some coherent sense. <laughs> thank you as always to my amazing patreon patrons i love you all so so much literally without you guys this would not be possible please remember to look at those resources in the description down below please think about supporting the sticker pre-order and if not donating to any of those organizations down below i love you all so so much please remember to comment for the bot because youtube is dumb and i will see you next time Bye bye